Right, so on the 8th here I've played my second shot from the right hand side over the bunker, um, seen it you know, land but not finish. Um, I get down here and there are two balls lying really pretty close together. Um, unfortunately, they're both the same make and number. Um, that gives me a problem. So just pop forward so you'll be able to see. There we go, both tightness twos there. Um, now the, the second ball there could be a stray ball. Um, it could be my playing partner if we haven't realised that we're both playing exactly the, the same um, the same make and number. Um, the, the problem is that I can't identify which of these two is the ball that I'm playing with and therefore um, that ball's lost. Um, if the other one's the playing partner then my playing partner's ball is lost as well. Um, the best scenario if you find two identical balls is if actually you've hit the second one as a provisional. A bit unlikely here on the middle of the fairway um, but in that case the, um, you can choose either ball to play with, um, but it will be considered to be your provisional ball, so you will have had a lost ball. Um, now, so this is why you should really always mark and put your own identifying mark on, um, and not just a one red dot or one black dot, because too many people use that. The other thing though is, of course, you don't actually need to have a, a mark you've deliberately made. If, for example, one of these balls had a big scuff on and the other one didn't, you'd be able to differentiate them. If one was beaten up and been used a lot and the other one was a brand new one, again, you could differentiate and know which one is which. Um, these two, though, both look brand new to me, um, so I'm going to have to go back and play another one. 